Anna and I'm from Labria Cosmetics and today I'll be demonstrating our keratin smoothing product on my model Lara. As you can see Lara has quite a lot of hair, very very dense hair but it's the type of hair that will mat up easily because it's very fine in texture. The keratin will help to make this hair more manageable for her. Now the idea behind keratin treatment, it is basically used for a few reasons. One is to strengthen the hair and put back keratin into the hair and bring it back to its natural state. It will also soften the hair. So where a client has very thick, curly hair, what it will actually do is soften that hair and the structure of the hair. It also smooths the actual texture. Each cuticle will lie smoother and closer. Okay, now the first step with Lara's hair is, we'll be taking her to the basin and washing her hair. This is preparing her hair for the treatment. Next step, we will be applying the treatment and then leaving that on to process. After that, we'll be blow drying and then fusing it with a straightening iron. Okay, so now I'll be shampooing Lara's hair. I'll be shampooing with the clarifying shampoo. And what that does, it opens up the cuticle and prepares the hair for the keratin. So I'll be giving her two really good deep cleansing shampoos, basically to remove any impurities from the hair and the scalp. I've just applied the second shampoo after a thorough rinsing. With the shampooing, it's important to, to leave that shampoo in the hair for approximately seven minutes. This will allow the shampoo to actually open up that cuticle even further as well. Okay, this is the final shampoo and what I'm doing is making sure that all traces of the shampoo have been rinsed out thoroughly. And easy way to tell is when the water runs clear and the hair feels quite rough, raspy, dry. We now towel dry the hair. We towel dry it thoroughly, but leaving some moisture in the hair to make that the application of the keratin a lot easier, smoother, and it's actually equalizing that porosity as well, having that moisture in the hair. Okay, now we've finished shampooing the hair and towel drying it. The next step is to section the hair and prepare it for the keratin. What I've done, I've done a middle parting from forehead right through to the nape, and then a cross parting from ear to ear. Now it's time to apply the keratin product to the hair. We start from the nape usually or the curliest, the most difficult section. It could be the crown, it could be on the sides, it could be at the front. But generally we do start from the nape. So we just apply a small amount, one centimetre wide sections. Normally with keratin, it's not to be applied to the roots, but in this case, it really doesn't matter as there's no formaldehyde in the product or any nasty chemicals that's going to affect the scalp. Push this product into the hair by massaging it through to the mid lengths and the ends. It doesn't have to oversaturate the hair, it just has to be on there and um, completely cover. It's optional, you can smooth the hair out a little more if you wish by combing it through at the end just to ensure that you've covered all the hair completely ensuring not to remove too much product. Next step is we apply a processing cap. If you haven't gotten a processing cap you can apply some Glad Wrap. Just cover the hair and allow it to process. What this does is retain some heat and it allows it to process more thoroughly then the processing time starts and that will vary on the different types of hair that you're working on. So now the processing time is finished. What we do is remove the cap and the hair is ready to blow dry. Okay, now what we've done, we've allowed this product to stay in the hair. The reason why we've done this without rinsing it is because we're uh, after a stronger result uh, in terms of smoothness and in terms of relaxing that curl. However, if you're after a softer result with less color variation, you could take your client to the basin after processing time, rinse it slightly, towel dry it, and then start your blow drying process. 
This can be either dried off completely using a paddle brush or blow dried, which is optional. Okay, now the next step and the final step is to straighten the hair and to fuse it. What we're doing is pushing that product back into the hair and we're sealing it now. With my model today, I'll be using a heat of 200 degrees. I can also increase that if I need to, so it's always better to start on a lower heat than a higher heat. And the heat temperature will depend on the type of hair you're working on, the texture, and whether it's coloured or not. So we just take some fine sections and we start to fuse it. You can leave the iron on for a few seconds at the roots and then glide it through to the ends. We repeat this process seven to eight times. Again, depending on the hair type that you're working on, and I would suggest you refer to the um, instruction manuals for further information. So once the client's hair or the model's hair has been fused, then we take her back to the basin, re-wet the hair and apply a small amount of mask. The reason we apply the mask is to further condition the hair, particularly the ends, and to help seal it. Once you've applied that mask and massaged it well, you can give it a light comb through from the roots to the mid lengths through to the ends. After three to five minutes, you then rinse the mask off completely. We then proceed to restyle the client's hair. So there you have it, that's the final result. Smooth, shiny, much more manageable hair for our model. This result will last for approximately four to six months. She will need to use the proper aftercare, which is the uh, sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. It will make it easier for her to look after, to blow dry or to leave it natural and eliminate any frizziness and dryness.